Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and when we give you guys a fresh perspective on things. And now we see them. And today we got a pretty uh, interesting show for you guys that we definitely want you guys to stick around for. So please make sure you go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, as y'all know, we've covered this email Doka story, um, you know, since pretty much it broke, since the story um, initially broke. And uh, yesterday, <clears throat> We got some news that the Brooklyn Nets decided that they were going to go in a different direction and hire um, interim head coach Jock Vaughn, who had been on the Nets uh, coaching staff prior to them firing um, Steve Nash. And I came out and I said, man, I thought that email was going to get the job. What happened? Right. Especially after so many news outlets reported that news, including Adrian, ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski, basically saying uh, it was a done deal moments after uh, the Brooklyn Nets the, fired Steve Nash and then. Uh, subsequently, a few days later, we heard that some strong voices were trying to tell uh, the Nets uh, ownership that maybe they should go in a different direction and not hire uh, Emil Wadoka. Now, just before tip off yesterday between the Nets, the game between the Brooklyn Nets and the New York Knicks, they had the pregame show on ESPN. And on the panel, you had Stephen A. Smith, Michael Wilbon and Jalen Rose. When they asked Stephen A. Smith to give his opinion on the situation of Ime Odoka not getting the job, he gave his opinion. But when it was time for Mike Wilbon to talk, he really didn't hold back. And he basically made a shocking admission um, that I think most of us thought, but it was very surprising to hear him actually say it. So for those of you who missed what Michael Wilbon had to say about the Ime Odoka um, opportunity with the Brooklyn Nets, what we want to do is we want to play it for you now. And then we're going to come back and react to this thing. So take a listen to what he had to say here. Thank you very much. We'll check back with you later. Meanwhile, there is absolutely no one who has better timing than Michael Wilbon, literally right out of the car <laughs> and onto the court joins us here. But Stephen, I'll start with you. What is your reaction to the news? They will be Jacques Vaughn and not Udoka, who takes over in Brooklyn. It's a dual reaction. I'm very, very happy for Jacques Vaughn. He was 7-3 and three as a head coach for the Brooklyn Nets. He's a good man. He's got the respect and the faith of the players. And he's earned this opportunity. So I'm very happy for him. But I still think think it was a mistake because I think Ime Udoka is one of the elite coaches in the game of basketball today and to have an opportunity to have him in your staple and to pass on that because of your own drama I don't think that was the way to go that's just my personal opinion if I were the Brooklyn Nets I would have hired Ime Udoka because when the dust settles he's proven he's one of the elite coaches in this game I'm sorry. <laughs> Do I, I don't feel pats on the back. <laughs> there was no hiring Ime Udoka. Didn't I say that last week? You did. You did. That's not going to happen. Did. It's not about basketball. It's not about how elite he is. It's not about sport. It's about the drama of life. All right? This organization is dysfunctional. You can't bring more dysfunction and shame into an organization that has dysfunction, if not shame. There's a no, that's a non-starter. And I, you know, I said, I might not have said this, I know I said it to you. Can you imagine if David Stern was the commissioner now? Huh? Can you imagine a volcanic reaction that would have been greeted with the notion that they wanted to do it? This is not about coaching. It was never about coaching. It's not about the elite level of reaching your stars and what you, no. There's shame involved. This is a business in a community in New York City. There was no hiring Ime Udoka for this franchise. Yes, he deserves a second chance. He's going to get one or more, but not here. And it wasn't going to happen. And Joe Sy and that executive group was made to know that if they didn't already. I agree with both of you guys. I agree with Stephen A. with the fact that I believe he deserves an opportunity to coach again. And he's also proven if he's given that opportunity that he could take a team to the NBA Finals. So you heard what Michael Wilbon had to say. Um, and, it, and, you know, to be quite honest with you, as he was speaking, you know, it just made me understand that I wasn't just imagining all of this, right? And in fact, on some of the shows that we produced on that topic, on the thumbnails, we actually wrote, uh, this is beyond basketball. And if you heard him say it, this is in fact beyond basketball. Now, let me give you guys my general thoughts. Based on what he said, it seems to me that the number one reason the Brooklyn Nets decided to go in a different direction was because of all of the backlash that they could potentially get um, from the public for hiring Imeudoka, 
right? And the reason they would have backlash is a different story, uh, and a different topic that I don't want to get into right now because y'all, pretty y'all, all of y'all, all of you guys know uh, pretty much why I stand on this thing here. Now, yesterday when the news came out that the Brooklyn Nets were going to go in a different direction and hire, uh, what is it, Jock Vaughn? They were actually the laughing stock on many different shows. One of those shows was First Things First with Nick Wright, um, Wiles, and Chris Broussard. And they basically said what we said here on this platform yesterday when we did the live, which was this. If you listen to the language that the Brooklyn Nets used via general manager Sean Marks, he said that Jock Vaughn was the perfect candidate for the position. And... Chris Broussard and these guys were basically laughing these guys out of the studio. Like, wait a minute. If he was the perfect guy for this job, then why were you interviewing Ime Odoka? If he was the perfect jo a guy for the job, you would have simply fired Steve Nash and promoted him. So it seems as if to me, the Brooklyn Nets wanted to hire Ime Odoka because in fact, they felt that he was the best guy for the job to do, you know, to, to, you know, to help this team. And in fact, they were going to do it. And all reports were leading in that direction. So it turns out that them not hiring him had absolutely nothing to do with basketball because if they were concerned about basketball, he would have been absolutely the right guy for the job. So they decided not to do that and they basically caved into maybe outside pressure or maybe what they thought uh, they were going to get in terms of scrutiny from the public. So my closing thoughts on this matter are this. The, the situation is pretty much over with, right? There's not much else to say beyond this particular show here. Maybe one or two other things may, um, you know, rear its head in the future and we may cover this story again. But to me, the, the situation is simply this. The Nets chose to, you know, forego hiring the right coach for the job. And had they kept their mouth shut, they would have probably done that anyway. Uh, but because they released it to the public, that's what's created all of this conversation. Um, but since they decided to forego hiring uh, Ime Odoka, they chose, quote unquote, stability. It's important that we note that stabil stability for this Brooklyn Nets team will not come from them not hiring Ime Odoka. That's a cop out. The stability will come when they themselves begin to get their affairs in order. They run the organization properly. They establish a clear cut leader that's making sound decisions. It's not second guessing themselves every time you turn around because that's it's been a second guess job all season long, including off season uh, with the Brooklyn Nets. And we have a plethora of information to support that notion. However, the point I'm making is this. If they try to avert, um, uh, what is it? Um, a public a PR, uh, what is it? Um, drama show. They better make sure that they win. Because if they don't win, the very drama that you were looking to avoid will come back. They chose the public perception or the public response to hiring Ime over possibly resolving some of their basketball problems. So I hope that the decision that they made ultimately does that. Because if the team somehow still underperforms and, under, and, and doesn't deliver, the scrutiny that you were looking to avoid, you're going to get it again. And a lot of people in the future may come back and say, hey, maybe when you had the opportunity to get email, you should have, because what would have happened was some people would have complained and they would have forgot about it. Like most like people do with most things. So these are my thoughts and opinions on this. And what I want to know from you guys, what do you think about what Mike Wilbon had to say? What do you think about what I had to say? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section and we catch you all on the next show.